I think, you know, when the TEDx movement started, at the beginning it was just about pick a name of a city where you live. But for me, so it was about the things that have come out of this place. You know, the inspiration, um, June 76, Nelson Mandela, Desmond Tutu, the World Cup. So, so many amazing things have happened here. And we thought, you know, Let's try and see what we'll find in Soweto. It's a good place to talk about ideas. The 18th of July was Nelson Mandela Day. I was unable to contribute 67 minutes of my time towards doing good. And I really wanted to share some good. I'd come across random acts of kindness on the internet and I heard about it on the radio. So I decided that starting from the 18th to the 28th of July, which is my birthday, I would do 38 random acts of kindness to celebrate my birthday. It's, it's not going out there and doing something really big. It's, it's just small acts that you can do on a daily basis. You know, it's just acknowledging somebody with a smile and just, you know, just looking them in the eyes and just sort of saying, I'm here, you're there. And this is me just knowing that you're sharing the planet together and just being kind. I baked cupcakes for our neighbors and delivered them before they got to work, got back from work. I made together cards, went to a nearby hospital and gave it to patients and was doing a speedy recovery. Doing the things I love and sharing them is like giving away a happy piece of me. It's taken a while, um, I think every year, uh, this is year four, um, more people are becoming aware of what TEDx is um, and getting to attend the events. Some people say it's a luxury to spend a day talking about ideas and inspiration, but I think, yeah, the community is embracing the idea of TEDx. Our goal was simple, to take the most vulnerable children Children that have been raped, orphaned, child-headed households, children that are positive, and provide these children with medical, educational, and psychosocial support. Each and every area has its own needs. The needs in the area that I'm in are different to the needs in Soweto. I think what is important, firstly, is to get the buy-in. That's what we believe in. Buy-in is what will actually make people to nurture the program that will actually bring it to them. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be education. It can be anything, art, or you name it. But if the, the people in that area have bought into it, they will run with it, definitely. It's going to be something that will, it will sustain them for many, many, many years to come. We get a lot of different um, reactions, you know, from some people saying this is an American concept, let's do something that's local, you know, to people saying I was so inspired I quit my job <laughs> to do something else and to just other people connecting with either the speakers or other delegates and relaunching their careers, going into partnerships and just yeah, taking whatever it is that they were doing one level up because they spend a day at a, at a TEDx event. 